Hello everybody. The date is Monday, January 17th. I only got like five hours of sleep. I couldn't sleep at all. I had to move myself to the couch. Um, yeah. I posted a picture on Facebook. Okay, I saved this to my Google Docs, and this is what I mostly posted. <clears throat> you see that? Yeah, that's the bed bug. That's the little bug I've been telling you about on a previous video. Okay? So... I'm going to share this with the uh, maintenance guy after I clean up a little bit the best I can. And my friend said use lemon juice. I found a big bottle of it. Um, and I sprinkled it all around my bed. And I lay there for a minute and I'm like thinking, well, what if they still come and get me? So I moved to the couch. And I still couldn't fall asleep because I kept hearing this hissing noise. I don't know if it's electrical hissing noise or what, but then I forced myself to sleep anyway around like 3 o'clock and I'm up at like 8. This is crazy. Okay. Oh, Katie has a new video up. Okie dokie. <sighs> If I need to, I'll nap later. Okay, um, that's the dead bug right there. And again, that's my poison I had out because of the bug. And that's another one. And I think I saw, um, and another one. Is that the same? I can't really tell. Is that the same or it could be the same I don't know but yeah um so I have issues guys okay I slept here by the top control technician. Take all sheets, pillowcases, and blankets off the bed. Put the bedding and any dirty laundry in plastic bags and tie them tightly. Mark each bag to wash. Do not make the bed until your room has been treated by the pest control company. Remove all clean clothing from your dresser, place them in sealed plastic bags, and mark dryer only. Move all furniture at least two feet from the wall. Prepare your bathroom and closet only if these areas are scheduled for treatment by the pest control technician. Prepare your living room only if this room has evidence of bed bugs and will be treated. Reduce clutter in your living room by throwing away any unwanted items. In All right, so I let him know, and he said it's since the holiday, Martin Luther King Day, he'll uh, get somebody to come over tomorrow. Yes, I told the maintenance guy. So, maybe for the elevator right now. We'll go try to shovel it.
to sit down to lunch with the guys at the top. In theory, anyway. Yep. No matter where you look, you can see it in action. The free mom's last name. Corey, what are you talking about? A 15 year old girl is dead! He shocks the class with his lessons and gives them a taste of the devastating reality he got the day before. But because when someone calls someone else a bad name, it's not good that just that one person jumps up. We all have to jump up. Number nine, Topanga moves away. No, you're, you're not moving because we're, we're supposed to be together like we've always talked about, so you can't move because we don't deserve that kind of pain. Seeing Corey watch Topanga drive away and realize that her leaving Philadelphia was for real is... Damn straight. In that case, there's no sense me being here. Yeah, that's what I said. So I guess I should go. Right. I saw on TV today about the man falling off the building, hit the fruit cart. Lucky guess. It's a fine day. A day is when you rush home from work, take a quick shower, redo your hair and makeup. Put on something black that costs you an arm and a leg, even though there's very little material. And I show up wearing an Armani suit with flowers and take you to my favorite restaurant on Taylor Street. Yeah. And then I walk you home. We go into your apartment and I give you a kiss goodnight. On the cheek. And then I leave. Oh, 66. I, 29. B, 8. G, 47. I, 18. G, 56. O, 70. I-20 
Good morning. Excited to see you too. Good morning, Hazel. Good morning. All right, we should get going. We're going to be late. Where are you guys going? Today is the day I finally get a son. But don't worry, Hazel's going to make sure you're not sober. She already got a kid. Two of them. Yeah, a foster kid. Finally got approved. How old is he? Twelve. His name is Santiago. And I wanted a baby, but there was a really long waiting list, so we're going to get an older one for now. But I finally get a son I never had. Little League games, boxing, tag and train. You don't understand. If I don't go, there's only nine. So what? We need a minion. You gotta be kidding. You guys are Orthodox polar bears? Yeah. You got a problem with that, smart mouth? Look, Frank, I know. Trust me. Don't go in. Please, Frank, you gotta believe me. Fine, fine. You win, I won't go in. If he goes to my place. Me? Oh, no, you gotta be kidding me. No, no, it's against my religion. Uh -uh, I'm not going in. Oh. Nope. No, 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 wait a minute. Hey, listen to me. That a wise man. Exactly known for its sushi. Go, Brad, go. 
So I was thinking that we could visit some caterers while you're in town. Okay. Amber and I met with a few, but we weren't blown away by either of them. Well, depending upon where you're planning on having a reception, honey, it you might be required to use their caterers. guys um i will take care of the countertop tomorrow and run the dishwasher tomorrow because i'm going to be sleeping in the living room on the couch again and i'm going to go in the shower in a few minutes and i'll wear this eeyore um shirt and i have this blanket here, right up here, used. So again, it's the January 17th, 2022, uh, Sunday. No, on Monday, excuse me. Monday, yeah. Monday. Ugh. My day's mixed up again here. I'll be going to my dad's tomorrow and get my laundry together and stuff like that. So I gotta wait for the book person and stuff. So, inhumane. Our treatments have moved on and are much, much more effective for the severe mental illnesses that we don't really need these anymore, thankfully. Oh my, I've been so unfair to Becky. Maybe I am insane. I mean, I am talking to myself. You are? Oh, I thought I'd made a friend. Wearing the police hat is subtle, is it? Talking to yourself is completely normal, by the way. Excellent dungeon. Why, you look good! Mom, it's great to have you back, but you walked right into my shot. Is the BDSM dungeon really suitable You know, I am really questioning if I should just go straight to bed. Sleep for a little bit, and if I wake up to pee, I will shower and whatever. Because I do feel really tired. I didn't nap and everything, but it, that was only an hour. But I feel like I could fall over with, you know, with feeling so tired. So, and again, this is the countertop right here. Okay, and I'm going to stop this thing from going here, because I'm just going to go to bed now. Hi, I'm Annie. Yeah, because I am tired. So, yeah. I felt a little cold last night for some reason, so... If I am cold, I will grab that blanket. It's not a big deal. Not right now. I'm going to brush my teeth and uh, just go to bed. Because I am tired. Okay, so I'll see you later, okay?
Oh, here's my card. I was like, where did I put it? <laughs> I'm gonna brush my teeth now and get going to sleep. Okay, and I will shower when I wake up to pee. I won't be surprised it would be an hour or so. My jeans so I'd be more comfortable. They're hanging on my chair. Um, I put my watch right there and my braces right there. Um, if I fall asleep before 9:30, what would he do? Okay, it's good. Um, if I sleep all the way through, probably wake up at seven to shower and. Um, turn on the dishwasher and clean up the kitchen counter. So that's the main goal right now. Okay? Alright, I am just super duper tired. So if you don't see anything more after this, and if you hear me snoring, then that's good. Alright. Set my alarm for 7-ish. <laughs> 